Hello, this is Jerry Beck, and this is the audio track commentary for Censored, one of the private snafu cartoons. I'm here at the Asifa Hollywood Animation Archive, where I'm recording this on location. And Steve Wirth is with me to make sure I don't make any mistakes. And this is the great private snafu, which, uh, although this cartoon is called Censored, they're pretty uncensored. These cartoons, they have things in them that you don't see in the standard issue Warner Brothers cartoons, and you'll see some of that uh, later on in this film. The Snafu films, of course, were designed to uh, teach the soldiers what not to do. And this one has that classic loose lips sink ships message to it. This, of course, was a uh, cartoon directed by Frank Dashlin who uh, was uh, one of the great Warner Brothers animators and directors. He also worked for Disney and Columbia Screen Gems. This cartoon was released in July 1944, and Tashlin left the Warner Brothers studio in September of 1944. And that was really uh, just about the end of his involvement with, uh, the, with animated films. He, uh, he actually left the studio to direct some puppet animation, so it wasn't the end of his involvement with animated films, but he did some puppet animation for John Sutherland, uh, released by United Artists, and those films are particularly rare. If anybody finds any Daffy Diddy cartoons, please contact Steve Stanchfield or Jerry Beck, care of this DVD box. I know that Disney was supposed to do the Private Snafu series, but it ended up at Warner Brothers. I have a feeling Disney thought it was too much work, but Warner's was the perfect place for it. Of course, they took over the Hook cartoons as well. These cartoons look pretty good. The way they showed these films, of course, was in 16 millimeter to the troops. They were filmed in 35, but I don't think people back then saw them that way. They just they basically saw them in 16 millimeter and out in the field there, on the battlefield. This film has lots of that great, those great Tashlin expressions with the. Uh, smiling in the teeth. The characters like that eagle with that flat top haircut that he seemed to like. He used that in a couple of uh, Daffy Duck cartoons. But have you forgotten the censor? Ah, it's okay. Hmm. This is a good cartoon to go frame by frame, everybody. Well, if you insist. Technical Fairy First Class was a character that uh, was in a lot of these cartoons. That was his uh, way of getting getting a lot of things to happen very quickly. Yes, this is definitely a frame-by-frame stop-action one because there's uh, lots of good images in this uh, in this sequence. Of course, Mel Blanc did the voices for Private Snafu and the uh, Technical Fairy First Class. Here's one of those uh, awful Japanese stereotypical drawings. But that's the way the enemy was perceived. Uh, you know, they were the Al Qaeda of their day, so uh, we didn't. Uh, we had no problem caricaturing them in uh, vicious ways. Some of the gags in these cartoons were reused in Warner Brothers regular commercial cartoons, and a couple of snafus, not this one, but a couple of snafus were actually remade as uh, regular Warner Brothers cartoons. Theodore Geisel, otherwise known as Dr. Seuss created this series and you know in those early entries in the in this series were clearly written by him because they were also done in in rhyme and also uh, uh, Tashlin's uh, other snafu rumors a lot of the characters uh, a lot of the rumor monsters that they designed and that look like Seuss designs <laughs> 